People of Earth, your attention please for our feature presentation. Let's do it. Apparently, Laura has a heavy sack. See what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> mm, made of liquor, I am. Here's my mate, Rex. Hello, Rex. All right, mate. Yeah, chill out. Chill Hi folks, here we are on the podcast of Jeff again, and it is time for Rosie's Word of the Day. And now, Deep Thoughts with Charlie. Rosie, show us how to dance. How do you dance? Yeah, 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 you can dance. Very good. Oh, look at this, Charlie. Yeah, hello, Charlie. Hello. Hello, I special leaky dog. I special leaky dog. Oh, God. No, we don't see that. We don't want to see... How's Rosie? What you doing, you funny girl? <laughs> Greetings, one and all, and welcome to the special barbecue edition of the podcast of Jeff. Uh, we're having a barbecue today, so we thought we'd do some filming and uh, all that good stuff. All right. Let the drinking commence. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's gin and tonic, right? Oh yeah. This stuff is the business. Must chop. Catch up for the big kids. Catch up. For the big kid. <laughs> what we've got here is some uh, some beef, uh, cubed beef in in I've marinated it in a in a nice spicy type barbecue sauce. And uh, since we didn't have any skewers, I just cooked it on the foil, and uh, I'm just letting it simmer. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be tasty. Stick it in a bun, why not? Yeah, we've got some dogs now. Well, bangers, I should say. Sausages, for, because we're English. We don't have... We don't have hot dogs over here. We have proper sausages. And of course we've got some... Some steak. Steak. Kebabs. And also some wonderful pig cheeks, which are just, um... About the cheapest cut of meat you can get, but they're fantastic. Anyway, so we're cooking away like crazy. Inside, I believe we'll find um, 
not only is there a jug of pims on the go, there's also a lovely couscous salad with feta, salad makings, and some real veggies. Andy's Dinosaur Adventures. What a brilliant. So who we have with us today? We've got, this is the cast of characters. Today, we've got, we've got Laura, we've got Ewan, we've got Charlie Barleycorn, we've got Rosie, who's eating something, I'm not sure what, and we have Hello. Jason, and of course Tigger, don't forget Tigger. Hello Tiggs. Now what we have here, these are some pulled pork burgers. I know it sounds a bit odd, but trust me, that's what they are. Pulled pork burgers. Does that not sound totally delicious? Here we all are, grilling up some steak, some burgers, some chicken, some sausage, kebabs, mm -mm -mm. barbecue beef. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's all about the GNT. GNT. So anyway, I've been left with the uh, remainder of the food, which is uh, probably a bad idea. Because, I mean, I could probably just kill myself on all this stuff anyway. But there you go. The wonderful thing about being in the bathroom, for any reason at all, is the acoustics. And having had a few gin and tonics, I quite like to sing or something. Not quite sure what. Any requests? Of course, the downside of having a barbecue is that you're going to smell like smoke until you have a shower. But, like I said, I'm in the bathroom. I feel like I need to sing something. So, um... I can't really think of anything to sing right now, but, um... I can do a bit of Sinatra for you. Is that alright? Okay. Someday, when I'm awfully low, and the world is cold, I will feel the glow just thinking of you, and the way you look tonight. Of course, all of this behaviour is terribly, terribly silly, uh, and it can be blamed on one thing, the demon drink! Gin and tonic, gin and tonic. Gin and tonic, 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 gin and tonic. Oh, oh gin and tonic. Come on and rock me, gin and tonic. Gin and tonic, 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 gin and tonic. Oh, gin and tonic. Come on and rock me. Gin and tonic, 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 gin and tonic. Oh, oh, gin and tonic. Come on and rock me. I'll tell you what else sucks, man, is the fact that I, I'm not sure now if I'm allowed to still enjoy songs by Rolf Harris. I mean, because they were good songs. Tommy Kangaroo Dance Sport, Two Little Boys, I've Lost My Mummy. But you feel guilty now about liking those things because turns out he's a perv so what, what are you supposed to do pretend they were somebody else's songs I don't it's um and I'm sorry to just keep showing you the side of my head I hate doing that but you know it helps me to think when I look to one side so you know just chill just chill okay get over it yesterday there was a pig and ale festival at the Wolfpack in Tenterden and we went along to see what the fuss was all about. 
All right, here we are. Where are we, dear? Tell us where we are. We're here. Where's here? At the Woolly Willy. The, no, the not, woolly the, woolly. not the Woolly Willy. <laughs> <laughs> the Wolf Pack. And they got a hog roast over there and they got a beer festival all weekend. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Look at that. Beer all weekend. Here we are. This, this is the bar at the beer festival. Look at all this lovely, lovely beer here. Yeah. All these different breweries. Here's a list of all the lovely beers. Of course, I wouldn't expect you to read them all this, this fast. Well, it's perfect choice. Here we go. Give it a whirl. That doesn't help. I've already had one sip already, so I'm not... That's not why I've got the phone. Phone, I just said phone. And there's Moose, behaving himself today. Look at him. He's like, oh, you got a camera? It's, it's coming down again. Yes, look at this. I'm glad we're inside in the barn enjoying the beer because... Look at that out there. That is just crazy. And look at the steam coming off the top of the, the hog. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Look at the steam. That's, that's the rain hitting the top of the, uh, the, the hog roast thing. But look at that. that. That should be ready in about 10 minutes. So we're going to sample that a little bit. But meanwhile, we're going to stay here in the dry. Well, it's nice and warm. And there's plenty of... Um, it's a bit... It's a bit damp in here too. I uh, spoke too soon. Because there's a little crack up there in the old. Uh, but, but it looks like there's going to be some music here pretty soon because this guy is bringing stuff in, which is uh, a good sign. Very tempting looking hot roast. Very nice. Well, this is uh, this is going down a treat. Oh, oh yeah, that is delicious. And that one is called the Whole Melon. That's from Winston. That's uh, 4.4 percent, 4.4 percent beer. Try right now. The Alsace Gold. Ooh. Well, Laura's gone. Oh. Say again. I didn't catch that. Quite nice. You like that one? Yes. There we go. Delicious. <laughs> you drink Stop it. You it. drink it. All right. I'll drink it rather than filming it. Ever. That's very nice. Mm. <laughs> well, I think we're going to go and queue up for some hog roast. Just look at that thing. Look at that thing. Although, can you hear? We've got a bit of thunder going on. A little thunder. But that's still going to put us hardcore beer drinkers and hog roast eaters off. We are going to come here, we're going to consume our beer, we're going to eat our hog roast, and we don't care. That is, that is looking absolutely fantastic. Now look at that. Look at that. I, should, I, should, I should put it this way, but there we are. <laughs> this is quite the setup we got here. Yeah, look at that. Just going to rotate it slightly. Is there crackling on that? Carve a bit more. There is some serious yeah, crackling. looks some serious crackling yeah, on look at that. that. Yeah, I've got to have some of that. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Beer and hog Who cares if it's raining? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? What rain? Yeah. Yeah. How nice yeah, Thunder? What thunder? It's not going to deter us hardcore people. <laughs> 
swear, but I wish I might come this way. <laughs> Well, folks, well, it looks like the drummer has arrived. He's bringing his gear in. Everyone's getting their food together. So it could be quite interesting right now. Everybody. Okay, this is some um, the reverse side of, of uh, Western Brewery beer mat, and uh, I'll just read this to you. And it's probably best if I read in the plummy English actor voice because it gives it more gravitas. During the Second World War, ales from Westrum were popular with the young airmen stationed at nearby RAF Biggin Hill. Indeed, following the D-Day landings, Westrum ales were exported to the troops in Normandy by racking mild and pale ale into the auxiliary full fuel. Yeah, that. Rewind. Auxiliary fuel tanks of the Spitfires, the RAF's version of the Brewer's Dray. So we're tuning up over here a bit. So that was it. The Woolpack Eagan Ale Festival uh, on a rainy Saturday afternoon. Now it's going on tomorrow, Sunday, and it's going on Bank Holiday Monday as well because it's May Bank Holiday. So anyway, that was that. Off to do some shopping. You see? You see? They are insane!